Love you too. Love you too. See ya. Oh well, I'm not gonna die. I will. Doing a little switching up with the trucks, boys. So it's about time to go racing. Can't wait. Alan checking in with Adam. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing hooked up. And we got a driver's meeting in two hours, less than two hours. So and we are an hour and a half away. So wish us luck, and I'll check back in in a bit here. What's up, guys? Just a quick little check in. I don't want to get crazy videotaping in traffic with the truck here and the trailer behind me, but. First impressions of towing with the Evo in the trailer are this thing is still a beast. The Cummins pulls it like, there's definitely something behind it. You know, I don't know what it weighs at this point, but probably, you know, close to seven or 8,000 pounds. But um, it's still pulling it pretty effortlessly. And, you know, at 1500 RPM with cruise on going 70 something miles an hour. So this thing is a monster. I'm running a little late. I'm a little worried. I still got another uh, hour and 15 minutes left here. and. It's looking like I might miss the driver's meeting, but luckily I don't have to tech just because my car is in the advance group and um, Jimmy knows me, so I should be good there. And then if I miss the driver's meeting, it is what it is. I've done enough of these where he's not gonna care too much. Um, but I just don't wanna miss my first session because the, the advance group goes first. So let's uh, let's get down there safely. And uh, my buddy Pierre, luckily, is gonna help me out with some E85 because I did the went to the gas station to fill this thing up with diesel and of course their E85 pumps were out of order which wasn't convenient but um, then I went to a second gas station and they didn't have it either uh, they were out of order so uh, luckily Pierre's gonna hook it up and then I'll just have to run out um, and, and pick something up during you know in between sessions etc so like I said wish me luck getting down there safely and we'll check back in peace All right, y'all, we made it. Joliet Autobahn, full course. Rabbit's here with the white Evo, the clean one you guys remember from last year. And once again, the comments fucking killed it. This thing is a absolute beast. And yeah, we're gonna get this thing unloaded and uh, get this thing track ready. Meeting starts in a few minutes here, so wish us luck. Boom. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Yeah, so I have to finish up the corners with the paintbrush, but I just haven't had a chance. But dude, I got this done, two coats of it, and it's, I mean, look. It looks, it looks way better than plywood. Right, and it's gonna completely, it's like an epoxy, so it'll protect it, so. Yeah. All right, let's do this, buddy. Yeah, let's do the video. Yeah. Here you go, Chief, trying to climb in. Oh, fuck, sir. Glad I'm small, brother. Good.
All right, guys, we just got done with my first full session. Um, we're getting a little bit of, I'm gonna go in here because it's loud, but we're getting a little bit of overheating towards the end of the session. It's not overheating, but it's just warm. Um, and we're getting a little bubbling over in the coolant reservoir, just like last year. Not as bad, obviously, but it's not as hot out. So, and we have the bigger radiator. But gotta see what, see what we're dealing with right here. So Adam's checking it out for me. But so far it's running awesome outside of the, uh, the heat stuff. Um, so we'll check back in. I'll get the camera for the next session on my helmet and uh, let you guys know how it goes. It's the crap. God, I wanted to go. Here, get a video. Oh, it's on. Here, just get a good video. Yeah, of him pulling in. We can just do a little recap with that. Yeah, I totally forgot to record my session. I never put the GoPro on, so I have no coverage. So I'm just gonna make this a towing video first time coming with the Ram. Because those videos do better anyway, it's too real. Yeah, Dave, uh, car was too fast. We got bandages in the track. What's up, y'all? Alan's checking in with the boys. We got Pierre Rabbit over here. We got uh, my buddy over here, can't be on camera. And uh, we got the magician over here, Adam. So uh, we did uh, three sessions in all. Um, car ran great outside of the, the overheating issue. We didn't cook it or break anything or melt the motor or anything, but um, you know, it was, it was just a little hot and uh, we decided to play it safe and wrap it up. And Adam is going to do the head gasket on it uh, before the next race on July 7th, right, Adam? So we were wrong. Yeah, we were wrong, but we, whatever. I mean, there's no sense in spending all that money if you don't know for sure, you know? And we had to test out the new radiator. So the difference is the car is running more power, so four or five pounds more boost than it was last yep. time. So more kilowatts to cool um, in terms of that. So the I think the bigger but radiator helped, got, you know, but... <laughs> Hopefully it did something, but... Then the more power and then the head gasket, yeah. obviously, and the combination. It got, it got warm after three full laps, so that was about 10 minutes of yeah. wide open throttle. Now I would say actually probably about seven or eight laps, remember? It was getting hot, about last, six, yeah, yeah about six. six. Well, yeah, well the last one, it got hotter quicker, you're yeah, right, because so we were already hot. Like Adam's yeah. kids, say what's up. What's your name, buddy, for the internet? Ethan. Ethan? Liam. Liam, say what's up. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, load this thing up, strap it down. Adam's teaching me how to do all the basics here. And then uh, I will get back with you guys in the truck and we can talk about how the, the old Cummins tows, which is awesome for the record. So, but overall, let's t I didn't talk about my time, but my best time was a 231 and change, which makes me legitimately pretty fast, right, Adam, pretty for a street car? Yeah, yeah, for the street car. Yeah. For a street car on a pretty soft suspension and on a 200 treadwear tire, it's not too bad. Yeah, and, 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 and you got to remember this is fifth, sixth lap. Yeah. Because the, you got two warm up laps, yeah. two cool down or one cool down lap. So. Yeah, I pretty much have 10 laps balls to the wall all day. Yeah. It. yeah. So not bad. Give it to the end I mean, we went 20 seconds faster from the beginning to the end of the day. Yeah. Well, or last year. Yeah. Last year comparison was 250. 251 was my best one last yeah. year. I think I had a 246, I remember. But either way, we were way, way, yeah, way it's, faster. It's a 231 the, the boost, the chair, the steering wheel, me not flying around the cabin of the car honestly made a huge difference. I mean, you just feel like you're like one, you feel like you're part of the car versus hanging on for dear life mm -hmm. like a roller coaster. Yeah. So you, you actually, I mean, you're not going anywhere. You're just, you're yeah. you're you're I was literally it. hanging onto the wheel. I would be like hanging onto the wheel like this in the corner of my seat. So. Uh, either way, we'll be back. Peace. All right, what's up, y'all? Alan, check it in. So we, uh, we're on the way home a little early, as you guys can see. It's about uh, 2 o'clock. So, uh, like I said in the trailer, the Evo looks like it's got a bad head gasket, 99% sure at this point. We don't know how bad it is. We'll, you know, wait till we get the cylinder head off the car. Um, but basically, you know, it's getting five, six, seven laps into the session, and, and we were starting to get, you know, above operating temperature. So it wasn't like a... You know, I'm not smoking, I'm not burning coolant or oil, I'm not, um, you're not severely overheating or going into limp mode, it's just running hot. And I was coming off the track before it got, you know, real bad like last year, so 
Um, it looks like the you know the 35% bigger radiator helped, I think. But the, but the fact that we were sorry about that, <laughs> I got GPS. But the fact that we were running four or five pounds more of boost, so probably 50 wheel horsepower more, about you know 75, 80 engine horsepower more. And for the folks that don't know, that just means that you need to cool that additional horsepower or air that's going through the engine. So. Um, yeah, so I, th I think it helped for sure with the bigger radiator and the additional cooling, but uh, I think the head gasket's bad. So that's the gist of it there. So I think this video is kind of going to be all over the place because I didn't get a chance to put the GoPro in the car because I only ran the car twice and I was just kind of worried about getting the car on the track and shaking it down and making sure everything was okay mechanically. And, and I was just kind of rushing around and just totally forgot to put the, the camera on the, the third session when I, you know, when I was supposed to do it. And uh, yeah, so I don't have any coverage from the track for you guys. So I do have data and like I said, I was the, from the looks of it, the second fastest car um, on the track today. Uh, basically there was a grid life car, Austin with his 370Z who won street class last year. He was the only car that was running faster than me. Um, and then this E92, uh, one of those E92 supercharged M3s was up there as well. But um, yeah, so we're hoping to have it all fixed up and ready to go before the next event on July 7th. Today is June 17th. So we got about three weeks to get the, uh, get the head gasket fixed and uh, you know, give the car a once over. I don't think I'm gonna put the different spring rate on it yet. I think I'm just gonna get the car mechanically okay where it's not overheating and I can just drive it and not worry about it. And then at that point we can start dialing in, um, you know, the spring rate on the uh, on the suspension, and look at the uh, the shocks to see if they need to be redampened or just you know adjusted with the different spring rates. So that's where we're at for the guys that are into the Evo. But for the Dodge Ram, which is what this is going to kind of kind of turn out to be, is my first video, or first experience towing with this bad boy. And what I can say. Is, I mean, I literally am driving and recording with the camera. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> But either way, I think this thing is an absolute monster. I am so impressed with how great this thing is. Like I literally, I just can't get over how rock solid it is, how much power it's got, Prepare to keep left. how it just makes Thank me you. feel I'm like we don't even, you know. Miles. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on really quick guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Let's see here. Okay, we got the uh, GPS off here. So. Um, but yeah, this thing's an absolute animal. I, I'm so, so, so impressed with, you know, how effortless it tows it, not just from a power perspective, but in terms of it swaying back and forth, you know, versus towing with like an SUV or even a half ton truck. Like you really feel the additional weight and, you know, the heavy duty, you know, part of the pickup truck. Like it definitely handles, you know, the wind and the additional weight of the trailer much better, you know, than a lighter SUV or half ton truck, in my opinion. Um, and like I said, the power just, I mean, it feels like there's, I mean, not nothing behind it, because that would be an exaggeration, but it feels, I mean, it's its literally not breaking a sweat. It's not trying hard at all to move this. And like I said, I think it's somewhere between seven and 9,000 pounds. It just really depends on what this trailer weighs. I've been told, according to you guys, that it's somewhere between three and 4,000 pounds, and the Evo is about 3,000 pounds. And then we had a little bit of equipment on there. Um, so I would say, honestly, probably close to 8,000 pounds would be my guess, maybe a little bit more, but either way, I mean, not, not, I mean, I'm barely giving it gas and this thing's not even breaking a sweat. So power for days. I love the, uh, the exhaust brake, um, you know, the combination of the exhaust brake, the integrated trailer brakes down here and being able to adjust the gain, you know, inside the cabin here by just doing stuff like this, you know, is so sweet so I mean literally just adjusting everything inside the cab and I'm going with a, a plus six percent gain or a plus 23 percent um, that seems to be working really well for me um, in terms of the, the happy spot for the truck but yeah I think overall I'm super impressed with the trailer super impressed with my 2018 Ram Cummins 2500 and yeah I think I'll check back in with you guys later this week I'm gonna try to make a couple videos this week since I'm in town and uh, we'll get this thing dropped up up at Adams in terms of the trailer and the Evo. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll bring the, uh, the old truck drag racing over the next week or two. Take it up to the drag strip. So comment below if you guys want to see that or see this thing, see some mud and some off-road stuff. So I know it's not a big off-road truck overall and it's not really meant to do that. And it's, you know, it's a big truck with a big long wheelbase and all that. But it is the sport package and it does have all-terrain tires and it does have a 
a limited slip in the rear and it's got four low and all that so let me know drag strip or off-roading comment below once again appreciate you guys hope you guys like the video i uh, apologize for it being all over the place and not having any in-car coverage for the evo but um we got plenty of time this summer to get you guys action with that and, and uh yeah so we'll talk to you guys soon have a great day and uh, we'll check back in peace